All right, everyone, I'm back. So now let's head over to the watchtower and go get Errol. <coughs> With that said, I think this should. Uh, not now, little eye. <coughs> so now that we <coughs> got the basics down. Ah, same board. It's much harder going up than going down. So we'll just head this way. <coughs> okay, almost there. There we are. And <coughs> there's Errol. Uh, sorry. Ah, hi, big brother. Think Grandma made that outfit for you? But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat though. So anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? Just for a second. You have my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! You got the telescope. <laughs> so yeah, our first, uh, <laughs> our first usable item is actually Errol's telescope. So, well, do you like it? I let you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> Ooh, why don't you try it out? Right now, try looking at our house from here. <laughs> well, this is a pretty nice view. So, why not? <laughs> Look at the red post box. So, yeah, let's zoom in. Hmm. Whoa. Postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? <gasps> ah, Link! The sky! Look at the sky! Whoa! And it's carrying a girl. Wow. I wonder if... What the? Where... A pirate ship. Oh, boy. I don't think they're happy with that bird. Nothing seems to be working so far. Uh, they still seem to be chasing after it, no doubt. Wait. Uh-oh. Oh, right in the beak. Uh-oh. Looks like... She fell into the forest. <coughs> Link, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous to go in there without something to defend yourself with. Yeah. <coughs> Looks like this may be trouble. <coughs> that could have gone better, but oh well. Now then. Let's see. <coughs> Let's head on over to <coughs> the next area. But before that, I think this would be a good time for those fencing lessons from Orca. Oh, what is the matter, Link? You have an urgent look about you. Something happened? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, Link? Have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? Very good. First lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Good. Keep coming at me until I say very good. Very good. Next is the vertical slice. So yeah. Orca will basically teach you all the swordplay techniques. Next is the thrust. <laughs> so horizontal, vertical, then thrust. <laughs> you just keep going and... 
Whoops. <laughs> Next is the spin attack. <laughs> I think most of you Zelda fans should recognize this technique. Don't worry, you'll only have to do this twice. <laughs> Next is harder. This is a parry attack. So you just lock on, wait for the signal. So yeah, what you saw there, <laughs> there are two kinds of parries. What you just saw is a backslice parry. Now finally, the jump attack. <laughs> I think most of you know where this is going. Once more. <laughs> and yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold, an eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I don't know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow I doubt you will misuse that sword. You have it, Link. So now we got the hero sword. Now that we got something to use, since olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused in desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Link. I figured this would be a good time to test it out. <laughs> and also... Pull up some rupees while we're at it. <laughs> With that done? Uh, well, look at it this way. I'm doing him a favor by cutting the lawn. But before you know it, they'll just grow back. Now then, up we go. Man, this is a long road. Okay. I just slice this. And we're on our way. <laughs> Never know what might be hiding under here. <laughs> Let's see. Next. There's the bridge. Oh, but first, let's take a look at the top here. Ah, what a view, eh? <coughs> wow. There's a pirate ship over there in Yellow Ruby. Must get it, must get it, must get it, must get it, must get it. Okay, got a universe starting. And... Miss. <sighs> oh well, I'll just get it later. Right now, it's on to the forest. Alright, guess we gotta go, guess we gotta go after her. <coughs> so, we just head through here. And under this log, right here, uh, first let's crawl. Ah, there's a red ruby. Uh-oh. I don't think I've seen those guys before. Heh. <laughs> 
Ev Too easy. Oh, I guess all that sword training was actually useful. <laughs> Nearly close. Okay. <laughs> fairy fountain sight. <coughs> ah, it's an ancient fairy fountain. Well then. Let's... Okay, this should be where the girl is. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. <laughs> and there's two of them this time. Nope. Not even close. Oh, missed one. Oh, looks like she's waking up. Wow, what did that get up? Well, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... <laughs> Miss! Miss Tatra! <laughs> oh, oh, thank, thank goodness. You're safe. When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of him. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But, miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Well, may as well follow them. <laughs> so, now that we're out of the forest... Hi, Hi big brother! <laughs> ah, looks like you're okay to greet us. Stupid kid! <laughs> Get a hold of yourself! She's gone! There's nothing you can do! Oh man. <sighs> talk, talk about. Talk about a cliffhanger. Okay, yeah, I blew myself on that one. What? You wanna come with us on our ship? <laughs> do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know. Pirates! The terrors of the seas? What do we get for bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know how you must feel with your sister being kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? Hey. And how do you figure that? Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? What do you get putting into someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates had gone to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst them in different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you heard it or not, it's usually the case. Long years like yours are getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl was just kidnapped for this also as long years, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is, the bird mistook the poor girl for you, and that's why she kidnapped him. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Link here who saved you from the monsters of the forest, wasn't it? Is that true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Link's sister has made its foul nest to the north, on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be reasonable to give Link a little help now, would it? <laughs> I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, 
lately I have heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. It could possibly be to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave. It's stupid. Come on. <laughs> Even a simple little island like this is something to use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with. Anything? Tell you what. Come back with something like that. We'll sew you away in our ship. Once you leave, you won't be coming back here for a while. So you better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy eyed and homesick on me. <coughs> yep. Quite the bossy, quite the bossy one. <sighs> well, may as well find a shield. Wait a minute. I just remembered. <coughs> we already have a shield. Let's see. Should be, should be up here. So right. Where'd it go? I just know there was a shield right up there. <laughs> Link. <laughs> Is this what you're looking for? The shield. What did she... Take it. Take it with you. You got the hero shield. I guess it is true. Errol really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? <coughs> yeah. I'm just gonna go now. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a few more things. One more Hyoi pair, some more all-purpose bait. And look, and another all-purpose bait. Yep, that should do it. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm just about ready. So let's go talk to Tetra. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you gonna get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. You ready? Let's go. You ready? Guess it's time to set sail. How much longer do you think is going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Oh. Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? <laughs> well, already made up our minds, so... Yes, there's nothing else to do for it. Link? Listen, kid, you can't just stand around on deck. Tony Nika look after you. Pour below decks asking what you should do. Into the big blue, boys! Turn the ship full to starboard! We head for the northern seas! <laughs> oh, 
Okay, okay. Sheesh. <laughs> hmm, and that Nika didn't make out half bad. I see be the new Swabby and all. So I get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a real raw deal, but hey, I'll tell you. Just how that Nico's having to finally not be on the bottom of the pirate ladder. Just wait, it'll be do fine, just as long as you don't disobey him. <coughs> oh, I guess he's the guy who fixes the catapult. So, your name's Link, right? <laughs> Good you got on there. Is that popular back on your island? Think about it, though. I think I see it <laughs> enough like that somewhere before. <coughs> Sorry about that. Real dry throat as of late. Stop right there! This is Miss Tetra's cabin. The real pirates aren't even allowed in here. I'd sound like you in there. You're probably wondering why we treat young Miss Tetra with so much respect when she's clearly so much younger than us, aren't you now? Now, I won't go say this very loud voice. She may look young. Miss Tetra's actually 35. <laughs> That's a joke, Strippy. This was just a chance to be lost our last miss when Miss Tetra was still young. Ooh, fate is cruel if she is. That's why Miss Tetra took over so young. She owes it to her predecessor. Everyone's come to respect her for that. For coping with so much at such an age. Respect has nothing to do with how many years you've been on the earth. But you're probably too young to understand that. Wow. <laughs> so. Oh, well now. Oh, hey there, Swami. It's today. <coughs> I'm your superior. Nico, but I'll also go easy on you. First off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. Yeah, so, as Nico explained, you're going to have to jump on the platforms and swing on the lantern ropes to each platform in order to get to the other side. Which is <laughs> actually pretty easy once you got the hang of it. And as, and as a veteran who's done this about um, two or three times, I think I've just about mastered it. Hmm, close one. Okay, just gotta aim for the last one. And... There! Now all you have to do is leap over to the last one. What?! You did it already?! <coughs> I... I... I'm proud to have you as... as my... as my underling! I... I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. <laughs> I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. Alright, Swami, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward for the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take him before someone comes. A reward, huh? Well, see, seeing as he's graciously offering it. Let's see what kind of pirate treasures they got. Hmm, I doubt it's doubloons or jewels, but... A spoils bag. You can keep the items you get from enemies. Hmm. Huh. Well then, never will look a gift in the mouth. Ah! Hey Link, we reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry and get up here. Oh, looks like the captain's calling. 
So, it's time to head back above deck. Time to head up on deck. <clears throat> Alright, looks like we just about reached the end here. This is Megadoo901. Till next time.